This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are in front of the house, and here we have Cupra Born. And in this video, I'm going to go to Yalo with it. It's going to be born in Yalo. <laughs> oh, oh, so many born jokes you can make. But anyway, so uh, I've been uh, charging up the car. Check here. Yes, we have no bananas. Um, well, this one reports as 93%, uh, 16 degrees, uh, 16 to 21 degrees in the battery pack right now. And uh, if we look here, what oh, is it here? E manager, it says 92%. Okay, so we don't have 100%, but hopefully we can make it to yellow in a single chart. Well, can we? Uh, yeah, I, I think it should be fine, right? So anyway, um, let me see, I have to go here. Uh, okay, this is like weird, I have to double click here. And then I can zoom out a bit. And you see the plan is to, whoa, what the heck? The white panel is a bit off, sorry for that, but okay, whatever. We're gonna go there, it's uh, 228 kilometers away. Yeah, oh, well, maybe I should customize this one. You see, uh, you can swipe here. Wait, there's be some kind of, you can do this. Driving data, nah. Wait, navigation, what? What, what, what? Okay, maybe I can have, nah, nah, okay. Uh, wait, where is that other one? In the ID3, you can have the, the navigation data. Oh, it's here, it's here. This is the one I would like to, s what? No, 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 it's not that one. Okay, whatever, let's just have it like this. All right, whatever, let's just, Turn on the techno music and start hammering. We are now in all centrum, well, or all, maybe not centrum, right by the highway. I had to bail out because uh, I realized that uh, I can't make it, or I'm, I might be able to make it to Yalo, but then I will arrive there with 5%, which could be risky because the battery is cold, it's about minus seven degrees outside. It's this cold. This is actually very satisfying. I don't know why, but yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, anyway, so uh, here we have the coupler charger. Let me see how many kilowatt can we get from it. 150 kilowatt hour per hour. <laughs> and we're getting uh, 50 kilowatt. Well, actually not into the battery. There's some battery heater going on right now. Let me show you. I'm just going inside. It's freaking cold outside. What is temperature? Um, yeah, okay, it's minus six degrees Celsius. But when I arrived here, the battery was at eight degrees. And you see, we're only getting 40. Uh, can you see that shit? It's so small. Okay, here. We're getting 43 kilowatt into the battery. <laughs> we're cold gating much. So, um, yeah, we need to camp a little bit. Wow, so even at semi-low state of charge, we are charging so slow, mainly because the battery is so cold. So, this 
car or the MEB cars Colgate a lot. Once they Colgate, they really Colgate. Even the Korean cars, you know, EV6 and Ionic 5, even when the battery is freezing cold, they will still be charging an okay speed at low state of charge. Okay, but I need to camper a little bit and show the stats. Uh, 224 kilometers. 189 watt hour, not, not bad. But I have to show you that uh, it was a little bit unfair in this run because, um, um, wow, wow, it's kind of over, but this is always a problem. Okay, there you go. The, the new road here, okay, here, here, here. This one here, the new main road was closed. So then we had to take this long detour and it was, um, uh, 20 kilometers longer so that's a bummer because if it wasn't for the close road here then we could probably make it all the way to Yalo but it's no problem so what we're going to do is we will not stop at Yalo to charge this is going to be the Yalo charge and then uh, we will just go straight to the hotel well maybe I should cancel okay whatever so uh, yes I've uh, been having it nice and warm because it was actually feeling a little bit cold when it was minus six outside, so that's why I just pumped up the heat, the heat so it's nice and comfy. Okay, it's uh, starting to build up now. See, now we're getting uh, 45 kilowatt. Okay, okay, okay. I have to figure out how much I need because I also don't want to park the car at the hotel with too low state of charge. Usually, I would try to park the car for the night with 20% or roughly 20%, which means that I think we need to charge to around 35% before we leave. We are now at the hotel, so we arrived here with 19% battery. I charged with 31% at uh, the coupler charger. And then I can show you the stats. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Yeah, okay. So, well, I had to double click, I forgot. So this is from Oslo. Yeah, total distance. Okay, 196, not too bad. It's actually better than the EV6. I tried recently. Hmm, okay, and this is this one the last leg? Yeah, okay, okay, as expected. So, um, and then if we look here, so this is a little bit unfair. We have 12 degrees in the pack. It was uh, six or so seven degrees when I plugged it in. So the battery should have been colder by now, but okay, whatever. So uh, we will see what happens in the morning, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, be sure now. I'm not staying at Dr. Holm's hotel tonight because it was simply not available. So I have to, this is the second choice, which is the Ustedal Hotel. It's kind of weird because now we, it's Monday night. Well, actually, technically Tuesday. But in the weekdays, they don't offer breakfast. And also, when I booked here, they asked if I wanted to have some bed sheets and towels for an extra hundred duk. I'm like, oh, isn't that standard stuff? I guess not. So anyway, I will just leave the Cupra born here, uh, let it chill down, and then hopefully we see some interesting stuff tomorrow morning. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that is cool. The Cupra logo is projected on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I think that's it. Good night. Good morning. It's almost 11 now here in Yelo. I waited longer today because, uh, simply because yesterday the battery was semi-warm, so I wanted to let the battery cool down as long as possible. So, I can show some of the surroundings here. There's a farm over there. This is the hotel and resort. And then on that side, we have the ski slopes. 
Oh, let me see if uh, do anyone on the ski. Yeah, okay, good. They're already active. All right. Nice weather in uh, Yale today. So the Cooper Born has been parked here overnight. Let's see then. Uh, again, uh, we don't have any snow or anything, so of course the doors should work. But what I want to know is how cold is the battery now? And how will the car perform when it's cold? Welcome driver, all right? Uh, when you enter the car, I think it will start up automatically. Mm. Yeah, you can hear the HVAC starting. So let's set it to 21 degrees Celsius. Whoa, is the battery really minus two to minus four degrees Celsius? Well, that is great. Wait, okay, okay, wait, inlet is one. Maybe it's trying to heat up the battery now as we uh, start. Oh yeah, it's pulling six, yeah, almost seven kilowatts for heating up something. And here we have seat heater settings. So each seat has three levels. And if you go to the AC menu here, no, oh, misclick. Here we also have a steering wheel heater, also in three levels. Hmm. But no rear seat heater. So we can uh, see now, it didn't take very long for the heat to come out. I guess it's using the PTC in the beginning. But yeah, we have heat now on the vents. What about footwell? Yeah, coming this side, yeah. And then I fire on the steering wheel heater, let's see. Seems to be quite even distribution. The top is slightly warmer because it's been hit by the sun. So not much to see there. Wait, is this part here slightly... Uh, yeah, okay, but... At least the rest is coming. Is it a bit, is it a bit slow? Huh. I fired up a couple of minutes ago. Usually it will be quite instant. And then seat heater. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but... Uh, well, when I leave the car, then it goes off. But at least we see some heat there. Not in the side bolsters. Huh, it's like Kia style. Only in the center, and of course we have... Yeah, we have heat from the sun, but... There you go. So you see here... The battery is heating up. As we are just stationary here. I guess the car has been pre-programmed to uh, heat up the battery. But it goes kind of slow. Let's see now, do we have any... Do we have any region? I have B mode on. Oh, there is some region. Some region. There. Some power also. Yeah, plenty of power. Well, actually, I have a little region limit here now in the display. So I guess the car is cold getting a little bit, but however, it's not that noticeable. Let's see. Yeah, there is some, uh, some power limit and region limit, but not really a problem. I and mean, you can still have, you can still drive normally. But I can feel the difference that wasn't there yesterday when the battery was not that cold. But right now it claims minus three degrees. Ooh, in the pack. Wow, really? Huh. Okay. Well, let's see how fast we can charge then, huh? We are now at so okay. Gonna charge up. So, yeah, I forgot to show you. So the battery is still at zero degrees Celsius. Fairly cold. It heated up a little bit. Charge port is not where it should be uh, here, conveniently. So the charge port is on the right side, which is the wrong side. It should be on the left side, which is the right side. It has a butt plug here. I'm not a fan of it because, yeah, they always tend to dangle around like this. All right, but uh, let's plug it in. Oh boy. This must be the worst result ever. Only 26 kilowatts. Battery is quite cold, but this is the part of the test. <laughs> So even at low-ish state of charge, you can still not receive 50, 60 kilowatt like uh, most other cars were able to do. Only 26, uh, 27 kilowatt. Then you're stuck here. Uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> but it's going up fast now. You see, inlet was not that high when we were just stationary, but of course, when we are parked here at the DC fast charger, it will heat up more aggressively. So let's see what happens now. It's 11.05, okay, let's wait around five, 10 minutes and see how the speed ramps up at least. Now this is kind of strange. In uh, ID3, ID4, you have this pull down menu here. I try to pull down and then lots of weird shit happens in this car. Uh, oh shit, I just messed up everything. Okay, so there is no pull down menu, at least there. Uh, well, there's some pull-down menus-ish here, but the, the pull-down menu shortcut is here. So what you can do is you can press and hold one of these buttons and then you can remove it and then you can put something else here. You see? And you can move this one and then put uh, driving data. No, 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 I had to... My bad. You had to, you had to click on this one and then this. And then click on this one, stationary AC. Like, oh, nice, nice. Stationary AC, but... This, for some reason, doesn't work the same as the ID3 software. It just brings up this screen. Uh, I just want to start now. Uh, so, so I was looking through uh, how do we start now. So there is no way to do that whole stationary AC thing unless you do this if I open the door. Then the car detects that you are about to leave. Well, it's supposed to do it. Maybe I lift my butt. Okay, then... then no, 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 that, that not, no, 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 that's not the one I wanted. This is so inconsistent. Okay, okay, let's try again. You see, I'm struggling even to make this work. Okay, okay, like, like this, all right, all right, okay, okay. Let's say we're on the home button here, okay. Then I open the door. Okay, hasta la vista. I'm gonna leave now. Wait. Why is it that every time I want to demonstrate something, it doesn't work? Well, how, how about if I turn off the engine? No, then I turn it on. Okay, let's turn it off. There, 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 there. This is one I want to show. Air condition now. This one, though, will... It's the same as they keep climate on. Or it will last for half an hour. It will keep the car nice and warm or cold in the summer. Just like the ID family. But for some reason, this button doesn't do the same as that button. But in the ID 3, ID 4, this one will do the same as that one also. I think in, in the Enyaq. So this is kind of weird. Did they change something? Because the whole look and feel of the rest of the car is uh, very similar to the ID 3. So, but at least it has a button there for air conditioning. It's just that it's not always consistent when you can activate it. And you can only activate it when you're about to leave the car or when you're, when you're in this goodbye state. And just like most EVs I test nowadays, this one also doesn't have a headlight washer. You see, it's getting smutsish. Uh, the, the radar is here, but again, we don't have any uh, action going. Oh, it's actually starting to heat up. Okay, so by default, it heats up. Uh, it's not needed, though, because uh, it could instead detect that there is some snowfall or something. Yeah, but okay, okay, it wants to heat up. Well, at least we have heated radar. What else is heated around here? Let me check. Oh, camera. Okay. Hmm. Do we have any heated action going on here? No, it's just the the the, the air vents. Wait, 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 wait. I see something. Oh. Okay. So we have heated washer. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was not pointing on the right right there. We have heater, a heater in the in the nozzles at least. Well, yeah, I can. I managed to measure 20 degrees. Oh, okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So it, it checks some of the boxes for uh, a winter car. Let me go in the back just to take a look. Do we see anything uh, interesting here? It's been uh, sitting in the sun maybe. That's why this side is a bit warm-ish. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, we're good. And as far as I know, this car does not preheat before fast charging. So let's just, oh, I have to zoom in quite far before I, there, 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 now I see some 50 kilowatt. Okay, it's not updated. We have lots of high power chargers there. They've been here over a year. Uh, okay, well, whatever. So let's see now, if I just navigate to all, let's, maybe I can just go back to the same place I came, uh, I charged yesterday. That's 25 kilometers away. Let's see what happens. And then over here, you see that now it's starting to heat up. Oh, okay, okay. Inlet is 29 degrees. It's trying to heat up everything. Uh, we are now taking 35 kilowatt. This is after about 10 minutes of charging. Still quite slow. So uh, I don't think I want to waste time here. But I want to show you something. Um, okay, if you go here, uh, E-Manager, 
we have charging power. It's just now 171 kilometers per hour. Yesterday, no, wait, no, no, in another video, I showed you it was showing uh, kilometers per minute. So this is very confusing. And uh, what we want to see is how fast are we actually charging in kilowatt because the charge over here shows the kilowatt. This tool here, the, the third party tool uh, connects to the OBD down here, shows you in kilowatt. But this one, for some reason, shows you in kilometers per hour. And also the inconsistency here is that, if I remember correctly now, this, this kilometers per hour also depends on uh, the, the GOMs, uh, the GOM, pretty much. So if you have high consumption, it will not be consistent here. So this is actually a big minus. It should show kilowatt. For example, if you buy the ID, you know, the, the, the Q4 e-tron, which is also based on the MEB platform, that one will show you kilowatt inside the screen and it also shows you percentage inside the screen. So this is a bit minus, well, 27%. I think we're good now. We are, yeah, okay, uh, let's uh, get going. One very nice feature I haven't seen in many EVs nowadays is that when you put the car in reverse, you see the backup camera here? There is actually nozzles, or a, a nozzle, I mean, for uh, cleaning the backup camera. So what you have to do is uh, when you wipe and activate the rear wiper, let me see. Okay, there, 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 there. You see the rear wiper is active and you rinse the rear. You also wipe. Wait, it only happens once. Let me try again. There, 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 there. Oh, nice. getting close to floor now and uh, I've been driving for a while and I paid attention to the temperature and it's been staying low throughout the whole uh, leg here. There is no indication that the, the car wants to heat up the battery. So right now it's at eight degrees Celsius. Uh, so I guess I will use an ancient Chinese secret. The way to get fast charging speed is to go deep. So right now we are at 6% and the funny thing is that once the state of charge drop below 10%, then suddenly it shows up in the instrument cluster, right? which means that it already had uh, space here in the instrument cluster all this time to show state of charge. <laughs> okay, but you see, since Yellow, we averaged 133 watt hour per kilometer, huh? done 98 kilometers since Yellow. Huh? I only go home. This car is efficient like a ninja. All right, we're now at floor. Let's see then. Oh, 65 kilowatt. That's actually one of the better speeds we can get around here. <laughs> okay, but you see it's gonna heat up now. So I guess we'll wait a bit and see what happens. We've been charging a little bit and now we're getting almost 90 kilowatt. So you see the battery heats up quite fast. I guess it's a little bugger, it's a small battery. so. He's up very fast. Oh, okay, okay. This one was higher. The inlet was at 40 degrees. Now it seems to kick back a little bit. Maybe it doesn't want to heat up that much. Okay, 30 degrees. But uh, unlike the Korean cars, this one has a more even uh, power curve. So it goes up uh, in way finer steps. The Korean cars goes up depending on the min temperature or the maximum, depending on if it's too hot or too cold. But uh, there we have five degrees sp steps, uh, whereas here it seems to be more even, which is better because you just want that instant power so you can heat up the battery even faster. You see, this is the trick to get out the coal gate. You have to listen to Uncle Bjorn, always go deep and you will come faster. <laughs> so this is a location I almost never stop at. I actually don't know why. 
because we have so many uh, fast chargers and also high power chargers nowadays so it's kind of hard to visit all of them but at least here we see we have two delta chargers from Mir. Uh, one of them is actually kaput let me see this one should be the one working and then this one here yeah you see it's kaput also on the other side and then what the heck hey what wait a minute there's not supposed to be engine oil uh, spill on the on the parking i mean on on charging stations so obviously there's been a fossil car parked here huh well that's not good but okay, so you see the highway, it goes right there. I normally just swoop past by there. Whoa, look at that. That's actually going to see the cheap. Well, well, well. Rip fossil. But okay, well, Etron is going to charge, right? That's one is kaput, so it's, uh, well, he will figure out it's kaput. So he has to take that one, which means that we have to share charger. Um, okay, okay. And you see, by the way, over here, we have some uh, 50 kilowatt. They've been here forever. So, yeah, I, I figured maybe I should try these ones, but uh, I had a small hope that I would get more than 50 kilowatt. So now, now I need to figure out what the heck do I do? Do I hang out here, share the jar with that guy? Or do I keep driving? Well, I told the fat Etron that that other charger there is kaput. So they move over here, but that means that we'll be caring and we'll be sharing. But that almost doesn't matter for me because <laughs> I'm taking only 80 kilowatt now. So it came to the point now where it starts to throttle anyway. So for me, I will get 5 kilowatt less. Uh, the fat e-tron will be like, what the heck is this shit? We are back home in Oslo now. So this is the consumption for the whole trip, 481. Yeah, with a bit of detour. Huh? 172 watt hour per kilometer. Impressive. I wonder if this is the one of the lowest one out there. But you see over here, the temperature is eight degrees Celsius. So spring is coming. And this might be one of the last uh, yellow tests I will do. I might as well call this the, the um, uh, Colgate test because it's about testing Colgate, checking the winter uh, capabilities, uh, charging speed, see if it preheats, check out some of the, uh, through the thermal camera. But yes, so we'll see um, how it goes if I will uh, take more cars to the yellow test. Maybe I should do it with Miller and the Falcon. He's over eight years old now. Let's see how a veteran will do it, right? So anyway, uh, what should I say about the Cooper Born then? It seems to tick some of the boxes as a winter car, but the, one of the biggest problems is that this car does not preheat the battery before we arrive at the fast charger. So uh, it will call gate. Yeah, but hopefully they will be able to fix this. The Koreans are about to fix this. So maybe the Germans need to uh, catch up with the Koreans. <laughs> right, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later. What? 0.6 kilowatt hour per hour. <laughs> There's a white car there. There's a white. What? The picture shows a white car. This is not a white car. Um.